Well, the beers in the fridge are always cold. We're drinking that craft till we're really old. Knowing nothing in life but to drink this shit. Don't close your tab because we ain't poured nothing yet. Word to mother. Hey, Beer Crats, I'm Paulette, and this here's Nameless. You don't get what that means, but if you were to listen to my music a decade ago, you would. We'll link it down below. No. Anyway, so we're back with some more IPAs. Yes. <laughs> and as Eric wrapped off the top, he's really excited. Fucking yeah. This time, though, we're doing something a little different. We're drinking hazy IPAs, which is not like a West Coast IPA. Nah. And what's interesting about these is that they're less about the hot profile and more about, or the bitterness profile, and more about the juiciness, the fruitiness, and a byproduct of creating them is that they come out hazy. And I love them juicy. <laughs> this style hails from the East Coast. Um, it was created in Vermont, so New England, so you usually see it abbreviated N-E-I-P-A. Yep. But I saw one source that claimed it was created in Omaha, Nebraska. Onipa. But N-E is Nebraska's state abbreviation, so there you go. Anyway, we're going to say it came from Vermont. They're uh, sweeter. They're more floral, they're more tropical, they taste like juice, they can be a little heavier on the tongue, a little smoother. And, I mean, they basically look like fresh squeezed orange juice. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Well, let's get some vitamin C in our systems. Um, we could not get some true East Coast ones out here because they have such a limited shelf life. You basically have to drink them immediately. I know for a fact this one was canned two weeks ago. Same so, with this one, yeah? Yeah, probably. This one's from San Diego. This is from Tehachapi, which is just two hours north of Los Angeles. San Diego's two hours south, so there you go. Mm -hmm. They meet in the middle. <laughs> they meet in the middle where we At are. At Beer Crotch HQ. What a thing. They're not, this is not something you sell her. Mm -mm, no. You consume these right away. So if you're having a soiree, for example, <laughs> and you need beer for your soiree, you go ahead and get these two because they'll be drank immediately. Immediately. And because this isn't about bitterness, they're lower on that IBU scale. This one actually says 35, which is really low for your typical IPA. 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 It's bitter. not quite IPA. It's not quite that much. It's about the perceived bitterness, not so much how many hops are actually in there. Because, like we said in a previous episode, hops can be used for bittering, for flavor, or for aroma, just depending on when they're added to the beer. So let's drink. Yes, let's get our perceived bitterness on. <laughs> The first in our hazy IPAs is a collaboration between Beer Zombies in Vegas and the Tehachapi-based Local Craft Beer. That's mm. the name of the brewery. Nice. Local Craft Beer. Google that. Yeah. So, <laughs> like we said, Tehachapi is about two hours north of here. Vegas is an hour and a half flight. So not too far away from one another. They meet somewhere in the desert, I'm sure. Um, beer these... Valley, obviously. <laughs> these beers, the hops that they use are the more floral, tropical kind. So stuff that tastes like melons or citrus like Citra, Mosaic, Galaxy, that, those are the real popular ones because you get a lot of All aroma. great nightclubs. All great. Great nightclubs. Smell this, dude. It mm. smells. I mean, look, of course, it's hazy. It, it, like I said, it looks like fresh, fresh squeezed orange juice or fresh yeah, squeezed it's, grapefruit. Yeah, it's like grapefruit juice. Let's drink our grapefruits. Whoa. Um, this is a really good beer. Thank you. Local craft beer. We well, like this a lot. And thank you for distributing to Los Angeles, because this shit's good. And our next beer is from a Danish brewery via San Diego. And it is a New England-style India Pale Ale. Beer is global. By way of Albuquerque. <laughs> I don't think Albuquerque is part of that. No, so, but the other ones were, for this sure. This is uh, the Windy Hill, which is a hazy IPA from McKellar, San Diego. McKellar is based in Denmark, and they have four locations here in California, but notice that it's a lot less hazy. Here, I still have some of the other one. A lot less hazy than the last one. Oh, wow, like, yeah. There's a significant difference. You could see through this one. You can. It's almost I like a I see through beer. you. I know what your game plan is. <laughs> I actually knew a Windy Hill in fifth grade. I had a crush on her. You know what? It also doesn't have the same... You know, in your mouth, it, it's more effervescent than it was smooth, like this one. This one was more like a milkshake. This is... Eh. But, does it bring all the boys to the yard? <laughs> I don't think it does, no. 
Mm. I think this would fail to bring all the boys to the yard. Wendy Hill needs to work on her game. <laughs> That's not to say this is a bad beer, but it doesn't taste like a hazy. Like when we were in Boston, we had some true Northeast IPA styles. They were all really smooth. They were all really juicy. Big flavors. This has more effervescence than anything else, which means it's just more like a typical beer. Ever pheasant? Ever pheasant. What does ever pheasant mean? Bubbly. Oh. Eric likes to pretend he's dumb, but he's actually very intelligent. I, I Right, Mom? I mean, I, I I like Ever Pheasant. I think they're a great band. Did you like this one? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I didn't think it was bad. I mean, I think it goes down a little bit smoother. I like the fact that they lack in nationality. <laughs> the nice thing about beer is just because I don't like this doesn't mean that somebody else might not love it. And you know what? That means more for them because I'm not going to take it away from them. Taste is subjective, which is the motto of beer crats. No, it's not. I'm it's, kidding. It's not. But we do stand by that statement because... Like a, a motto? Beer, there's a beer for everyone. Kind of like a motto? Or a philosophy. $5 word to Poletterado. Which one do you think you preferred? Uh, you know, I'm, I, I think I'm going to go with the hip-hop inspired Hazy E because it has Easy E's corpse on the can and His that's not zombie. at all awkward His beer zombie and it's by corpse. beer zombies like for real okay maybe easy e would have been like hey what the fuck guys or he might have been like hey that's dope now give me some residuals i think that's what he would have done and that was hazy ipas huh, things are a little bit hazy now i can guarantee you that <laughs> one a little more hazy than the other Mm-hmm. but uh I think we both really liked this one a little bit more. Winner, winner, be a dinner. Also a little stronger. Mm -hmm. So I might be feeling that right now. Let's see, we got 8.5. And 7. To 7. Mm. 8.5 wins. Join us every Wednesday at 11 in the morning for your drinking pleasure and ours. Because yes. Because that's when we drop new videos. That is. And if you miss it at that point, that's all right. Because you have the ability to subscribe and tell all your friends about it. And that way, the internet will let you know. Hey, Paulette and Eric are back. With another Bureaucrats episode. Woohoo! And you could also follow us on the social medias on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook as at Bureaucrats TV on all those platforms. All of them. And you can follow our personal accounts, too. I'm at Lord Fonz with two Z's, and this is at P-Font across one the board. One T. One P. One font. Pretty so, much. we'll catch you next Wednesday when we drink even more beers All here of the beers. On the Bureaucracy. Until then. Cheers. cheers. Hey, bureaucrats. Need more bureaucracy in your life? Here are two more videos you should watch.